Nikola Tesla. He was born during a storm, July 10, 1856, in the village of Smiljan, in what is now Croatia. His father was a priest, his mother, Duca Tesla. She had never been to school, but she invented household tools from memory. Nikola watched her hands. In school, teachers called him strange. He memorized whole books, solved complex equations in his mind, with no paper, no pencil, and years passed. He worked briefly for Edison in America. They clashed. Edison believed in hard work. Tesla believed in precision, vision, and the power of ideas. He gave us alternating current, electricity that could travel far, safely, and power entire cities. Without Tesla, your home would still be dark. He invented radio before Marconi, but history handed the credit to another. Decades later, a US court admitted the truth. Tesla had done it first. He created the Tesla coil. He lit lamps wirelessly. He dreamed of a world with free electricity for all. But investors weren't interested in a power they couldn't sell. In 1898, crowds at Madison Square Garden watched in disbelief. As Tesla controlled a vessel with invisible commands, he explored x-rays before Röntgen. He experimented with wireless energy. He studied the nature of resonance and believed he could cure disease with vibration. He spent his final years feeding pigeons in silence. He died alone, January 7, 1943, in room 30, room 27 of the Dont New Yorker Hotel, with no money, no patents. They called it a matter of national security, some of his devices notes, and machines were never seen again. They erased his name from textbooks, but not from reality. Tesla's ashes were moved from New York to Belgrade in 1957 and have been dot housed in a golden globe but don't the museum ever since.